Assalamu alaikum. We've been through the um, design of the surgical needle, the particular features in a needle that allows a surgeon to select one needle for a particular job. Uh, these specific features of the needle include its um, the needle edge, the needle point, the needle bo body, its uh, stability, and its ductility. We'll now go through the common needles that we use in everyday surgical practice. We start with the blunt needles. Uh, there are two common blunt needles. They are designed to minimize the cutting action of the needle. They just dissect and pass through the tissues with minimal cutting. Um, for that, their bodies uh, are designed in such a way as to minimize the cutting. The needle points are usually uh, circular or cylindrical. That's why it wouldn't cut into the tissue. And the rounded point gradually transforms into either a cylindrical or a rectangular body. Um, so these, these features are shared by the two blunt needles. They differ in the tip the very last bit of the needle. This particular blunt point needle has a rounded tip. It's not sharpened at all. It's rounded so that it doesn't cause any, it penetrates without causing any um, cutting action or any dam the minimum dam damage possible to the tissues itself. So it's used in very soft tissue that you don't want to cause any cutting into it, like liver, spleen, and the kidneys. The other blunt needle has a very sharpened tip, like a troker, and this um, gives it its name. It's a taper point needle. It still has a rounded point. The, the, uh, the needle point itself is rounded. It's only the tip that is very sharpened, and the rest of the needle body is again either cylindrical or rectangular in shape. Um, this type of needle is commonly used for subcutaneous tissue. Uh, it wouldn't pass easy through the uh, tough uh, dermis of the skin, but it's used for the subcutaneous tissue, including subcutaneous fascia, the muscles, the nerves, uh, blood vessels and stomosis, the dura and the pleura. You only need to change, select a proper curvature for a particular task, but this needle is the common needle for most of these uh, surgical actions. But when needles are needed to suture a tough tissue, offering high resistance to the needle passage, then it's the cutting needles that you need rather than the blunt needles. And cutting needles are designed to offer uh, cutting edges in the uh, very tip and also in the point between the tip and the rest of the needle body. And they differ in these two features. Some of them would have a very pointed tip or a slit-like tip or a triangular tip. Uh, and most of them would have a triangular point looking either upwards or downwards, depending on the type of the needle. This conventional cutting needle is the one most commonly used for skin suturing. It, uh, it cuts uh, with its very sharpened tip, and then the um, triangular design of the needle point allows uh, easier passage through the thick dermis Note that the apex of this triangular cutting point is looking towards the needle curvature. So um, the cut would be formed within the loop of the knot of the suture at the end. This uh, needle is uh, used for the skin, but care must be taken when you are suturing mucosa or tendons because of uh, the cut within the loop of the suture. The conventional cutting needle is not ideal for mucosa and for ligaments or tendons because the apex of the triangular 
cutting point is looking within the loop. Uh, and that's why the reverse cutting needle was developed. It differs from the conventional cutting needle in two aspects, its tip and its point. Uh, the tip is not a point here, the tip is a slit. Uh, it cuts like a knife in the first penetration through uh, tissues. And the needle point, uh, the area that followed the, ne the needle tip, is again triangular, but this time the apex of the, triangular, of the triangle is looking outside the curvature of the needle. And this minimizes the cutting and the loop of the suture that is knotted at the end. Um, because of this design, the reverse cutting needle has more strength cutting through tissues than the conventional needle. And it also um, cut, uh, its uh, danger of cutting through the knot itself or a very thin uh, rim of tissues is reduced because it cuts outside the loop. It's the one that you need to use if you are suturing ligaments or tendons or mucosa, including oral and nasal mucosa. Another cutting needle with a different design is the side cutting needles. Um, and this needle, you still have a very sharpened tip. The tip of the needle is very sharpened into a point like, uh, but the needle point itself, the area following the tip is trapezoid rather than triangle. So it actually does not cut the tissues above or below the needle. It cuts sideways and is therefore useful in ophthalmic operation when you just want to pass the needle through the tissues rather than cutting the tissues above and below the needle itself. It's also because of this design, it's very stable because it's a trapezoid. It's very stable within the jaws of the needle holder. And it got some ribbing in here as well that interlocks with the fissures in the tip of the needle holder. Taper cut needles are hybrid needles. They combine features from cutting needles and blunt needles. The clever design has it that the, the uh, needle tip, the very last millimeter of the needle is cutting. The rest of the needle is blunt. So for the needle point, it has a very sharpened uh, needle um, tip. And then it has a triangular cutting edge, like a reverse cutting needle looking outside the loop of the knot. But that's for the last millimeter, less than the last millimeter of the needle. After that, um, the needle has a rounded body, a rounded point that transforms gradually into a cylindrical or a rectangular body, allowing uh, some stability of the needle itself. So it has a choker at the end that pierces through very tough tissues uh, but only for less than one millimeter. After that, it doesn't cause any further cutting. It just glides through the tissue. And that's why it's used with cartilage. Like if you are suturing into a trachea or the nasal septum or doing a pinoplasty. It offers, it eliminates the danger of cutting after the initial perforation of the surface with its stroker-like uh, needle tip. Sternotomy needles are again hybrid needles that combine features from cutting needles and blunt needles, much like taper cut needles. And they are used when uh, needle strength is required to pass through tissues of maximum resistance, including calcified tissues or heavy cartilage. Much like the taper cut needles, they have features of cutting needles at the very big at the very end of the needle and the rest of the body looks like um, a blunt needle they differ from the taper cut needle however in several aspects the uh, needle tip here has a conventional cutting triangular edge 
So the apex looks inside the curvature um, while the taper cut needle has a reverse cutting uh, tip. So that's one thing. The other thing is that um, the tip of the needle here extends for the cutting tip extends for a hole of six millimeters. Um, the taper cut needle only extends for less than one millimeter at the very uh, distal part of the needle. This needle also has more strength in it, in it. The body is heavier and it's flattened into a cylindrical or a rectangular shaped body. Again, with ribs inside here to increase the stability of the needle and prevent rocking of the tip while it is passed through very dense calcified uh, tissue or cartilage. When precision is of utmost importance because um, of the uh, uh, fragility of the tissues handled or because of you're doing a cosmetic surgery and you want to minimize the amount of collateral damage during the passage of the needle, um, few uh, modifications are required to the needle you need. You need maximum stability by a, either a rectangular or a square body that allows the maximum grip of the needle holder on the needle itself. Also, the tip of the needle is very sharpened like a knife and the needle point extends for the last one third, the distal third of the needle rather than just for less than a millimeter in the taper cut or six millimeters for the sternotomy. This, uh, the, the cutting uh, point here extends for the distal third of uh, the needle. Um, and it's a reverse cutting type of needle with the apex of the needle looking outside. And this minimizes the amount um, of, uh, because of the thinness of, and the sharpness of the tip, it minimizes the amount of um, the damage to the tissue, tissues while it is passed through and maximize the stability uh, because precision here is of prime importance. Similarly, the um, PC prime needle is, is similar to the precision point needle and that they are needles to be considered when uh, precision and minimal collateral damage to the tissues are required in cosmetic surgery or when the uh, tissues are very fragile. Um, it differs from the um, precision point needle in that the cutting edge here is conventional rather than reverse cutting. And also uh, because of the material used for the needle itself, this of high, very high strength material, it can be thinned out into a very fine uh, and, and taper wire shaped uh, tip. And this allows the needle superior penetration power. The rest of the needle body is flattened upside down and also have uh, grooves and ribs inside uh, to allow better positioning and gripping of the needle holder. So it reduces the bending and the twisting of the needle tip when the needle is being passed. This is again one needle for one precision and minimal uh, tissue damage are required. And to sum up, these are the needles that are in common use in everyday surgical practice. Two of them are blunt needles and blunt needles have rounded body that passes through the tissues by dissection. So they separate the tissues rather than die, rather than cut through it. And uh, they differ in their tips. If the point and the tip uh, is all, are also blunt, and then this is the blunt point needle. This is the needle that you use for friable tissue, for spleen, for liver, kidneys, and your trine cervix. But if the needle point is tapered into a sharpened trocar like structure, then this is the needle that you use for subcutaneous tissue closure and closure of things like muscles, nerves, blood vessels, the pleura, or the dura. Uh, for the cutting uh, needles, they differ in the tips and they differ in the needle points. And if uh, the, the needle point is usually triangular, but sometimes it can be trapezoid, if it is triangular, 
with its apex looking within the curvature of the needle, um, then it's the one that you use for a common skin um, uh, closure. Um, but if it's the other way around, if the apex of the triangle is outside the curvature of the needle, i.e. a reverse cutting needle, you can still use it for the skin closure, and you also can use it for mucosa, and use it for ligaments and tendons. A taper cut needle is a hybrid needle with very high penetration power at the very tip, and then the rest of the needle uh, because it's hybrid, is like uh, a blunt needle, and this is the needle that you use to uh, suture things like calcified tissues and uh, nasal septum, oral mucosa, and th the like. Uh, spatulated uh, needles are um, flattened needles like a trapezoid with a sharpened tip, uh, but because of the trapezoid like uh, body, it cuts sideways. Uh, and dissect uh, the tissues above and below without uh, cutting through them. It only cuts sideways and it's usually in common use in ophthalmic surgery. And this is the other aspect of selecting a needle. After choosing a particular needle design, uh, you need to figure out um, the curvature of the required needles. And a 3 8 uh, circle needle is, an, is a very shallow uh, type of a needle that you can use for closure of superficial structures, mostly the skin. Um, if, if you are working endoscopically or you are doing um, microscopic surgery, you probably require the one-fourth rather than the three-eighths. It has a shallow curve so it allows for less pronation and supination of your arm during um, uh, the suturing. But this needle is not suitable if you are working in uh, cavities or working in deeper structures. For this, for the cavities and the deeper structures, you need a, a more curved needle, either a half curved needle when you are working in um, skin or shallow uh, confined spaces or the 5 over 8 circle if you are working within a deep cavity. That, uh, that, uh, this feature uh, allows easier identification of the needle tip within the deeper structures so that you can pick up the needle after its initial uh, rotation. Um, so this is the needle you're probably going to use if you are doing intraoral uh, procedures. So by this we come to the end of our discussion of the surgical needles and now we move to uh, surgical sutures material. Salam alaikum.